The optimistic behavior of buyers in yesterday's US session was assessed as paranoid, as the announcement of the Fed's proceedings is essentially translated as an upcoming destabilization of the markets, at least seen from a monetary perspective. And the clear revelation by officials that the world's largest central bank is unable to grasp the magnitude of the inflationary problem that has already arisen comes at a time when the other pillar of price stability in the global economic arena, the ECB, is openly declaring that the time has come for a new crisis. And this crisis has four variables – energy, food, the climate and, of course, the inflationary issue. In this maelstrom, the New York dashboard remained green, a striking yet worrying observation given the magnitude of the problem that has already matured. The largest stock market index, the S&P 500, recorded a gain of 0.95%, while the other majors followed suit, with the technology index having an even greater appetite, with plus 1.51%, mainly driven by good results from its constituent giants. Technically, the S&P 500 managed to bullishly break out May's sideways drift, signaling a reconnaissance repositioning. However, a closer look will highlight the weakness of the movement, as volumes were significantly lower than the median across all stock market indices. Also, with the exception of only a few flagship stocks, the formations of most of them do not point to recovery and or rebound, but are only considered in search of signs for liquidations and new sort positions. The above problematic is compounded by the belief that the bond market, government and corporate, has long been in a downturn, as yields at maturity have been rising, practically doubled in less than six months, while in the forex market the US currency remains dominant over the rest, while the significant development on the part of the ECB regarding the final and irrevocable decision to aggressively sift its own monetary policy effectively burned the euro to dollar, with a weak and budgeted technical bullish reaction. Finally, it should be noted that the macroeconomic context is completely at odds with the behavior of investors, which means that whether they are right and the bull market continues, or they are wrong and everything collapses, one thing is certain. Volatility will be asymmetric in all individual equity, commodity and forex markets, with all that this implies for investment risks and the corresponding large returns that await us. Trade the global markets with HF Markets. Open a live account at www.hfeu.com.